Let's talk about Top Gun Maverick. So, Top Gun Maverick, was it any good? I was gonna say a big fat yes, it was. So before I get into this review, I just wanted to quickly say, big spoiler warning for those who haven't watched the movie. All right, let's get started. In three, two, one. Top Gun Maverick, directed by Mr. Joseph Krasinski. He's directed a couple of movies you may know, you may not know, Oblivion and Tron, but this one, this one cuts the cake. This movie, obviously it stars Tom Cruise and it plays homage to the original movie. If you guys don't know, all right, Top Gun was released all the way back in 1986, back when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. No, not that long, but really it was about 36 years ago. The runtime of this movie was two hours and 17 minutes and it felt really well paced and every step of the way, each act, each part had its purpose. When a movie gets to about the two hours plus mark, that's when you have to be careful that some scenes don't drag on too much. But this movie, it didn't feel long. If anything, when it was getting towards its third act, you get this feeling when you're watching a movie in the theater and you can tell when the movie's like getting to the end. There were some parts, you know, back in the third act when they were fighting, the mission was accomplished. And I was like, oh, okay, it's getting to the end now. I was like, I know, that's it. I, I wanted to see more. Fortunately enough, like it didn't end when I thought it was going to end and like, more stuff happened and all of a sudden Rooster comes all the way and saves Tom Cruise and then he ends up getting stuck there and then they have to find a way out and they go to this old jet fighter carrier and it like keeps on going and then they get up and then they get into another fight with this other jet that's coming out and not many movies do this but you know I was actually sitting on the edge of my seat like really like rooting for the characters. I do have to say my thoughts going into watching this movie honestly I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. I watched the original Top Gun probably about a week ago as of shooting this video. So the original Top Gun was really impressive for its time, but unfortunately it was hard to capture some of the big moments during the fight scenes in the fighter jets, right? It was really hard to capture some of those scenes back then. Um, but now with today's technology, they were able to capture a lot more footage, which translated into being able to follow along the plot a lot more as an audience member, I was able to follow along easier than the first movie. But in saying that, the first movie was really, really good. Just due to the technology and the cameras and, and the fight scenes, it was hard to sort of see what was going on. But this one, Top Gun Maverick, they made it really, really easy to follow along all the fighter jet scenes when they were fighting each other. I could understand, you know, what the mission was, what the goal was, what they needed to do, what the overall objective really was, which was pretty outstanding because Top Gun 1 was really good and now, Top Gun 2 lives up to its name. A lot of the time sequels aren't really well made, you know, usually sometimes sequels can be cash grabs, could be really milk just for the franchise. But, you know, this movie, it sticks true and plays homage to the original. So Tom Cruise organized a whole training regimen for these actors to undergo, which is actually kind of interesting because that's what he did in real life. And then in the movie, he's an instructor that's like teaching like how to fly. So in real life, it's kind of being you know, Maverick and teaching the actors how to fly, essentially. <laughs> the training process the actors had to undergo was quite brutal. I mean, I watched an IGN video, they pretty much described the whole process and it's really interesting to see because it looks like Tom Cruise set up a whole like, a rig where they're like full like turning and then they go underwater. And I think it's to simulate something to do with, you know, the G forces or something like that. I'm no expert, so don't take my word for it, but the, what they've done was all structured purposely. They needed to train to withstand the actual pressures of actually being in the actual jet itself. So all in all, you know, it was really tough for the actors, but they pulled it off tremendously. It was really impressive to see how much passion, effort and time really went into making such a film, which translated perfectly into the on-screen performances and the visuals that you see, because they actually went above and beyond to actually film a lot of these scenes practically, which, is astounding because when you watch this movie, you could agree with me when you say like, when you watch some of those scenes, like 
you can tell it's not green screen. You can tell there, there is that subtle difference between CGI and real practical filming. By putting in that extra effort, it really, really turns out well for the visuals. So, you know, you're sitting in your seat and you're just enjoying everything about this movie. They made references to the old movie, but it wasn't too much, right? They made references. There was that NFL scene where, you know, they played on the beach, they played topless and still Tom Cruise, bloody 60 years old and he's still looking pretty decent up there. But, you know, all these guys all topless, you know, playing NFL, really nice, you know. I did see this video on YouTube where the original director of the original Top Gun, you know, he was like saying, what was the purpose of, you know, putting in that volleyball scene and, you know, I think he turned around and said something like, oh, it was like softcore porn or whatever. But, you know, it was it was really good. I mean, that that's what made, you know, Top Gun, Top Gun at the end of the day. And then, you know. Definitely the beach, the beach volleyball. That's what, you know, that's it was, what really stuck to me when I watched Top Gun. Yeah. That's, the only thing, that's the only reference that I <laughs> That was the only I was reference. about when I watched Top Gun Maverick. But <laughs> what, what I would talk about here yeah. is just say like. The motorcycle, you know, you had the jacket. And then towards the end, you had the F-14, which, you know, Maverick and Goose rode in was like a not the exact same one, but you know, the the exact model or type of jet that they rode in. The only thing is that they didn't really touch base much on the original love interest of you know Maverick. They didn't really talk much or say much about it. They sort of just you know brushed it off a little bit, which was like I mean fair enough. And they brought in a new love interest, but it was really good to see Mr. Val Kilmer reprise as well as Iceman though. That was a big one because watching the trailer, you know, we we're a bit unsure. They did a good job portraying him because for those who don't know, Val Kilmer he battled with throat cancer a few years back. And, you know, he's still doing good today, but obviously when you have throat cancer and you've gone to go all these surgeries, it makes him hard to talk, right? So, you know, there was a few scenes where he was typing and they just, they, they made it fit really well. Towards the end, he does say a few words. They wrote that into the movie and it, it just fit really well. But, you know, I didn't anticipate the movie to, you know, touch me deep as emotionally as it did. You know, there were some emotional moments in there that, you know, it chokes you up a little bit, but, that just shows how good of a, like a storytelling, how emotionally invested they really will make us feel about these characters. I think I've said enough about this movie. It's, it's definitely worth seeing. All right, guys, that's it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down your thoughts down below. I'd seriously love to hear from you. Don't forget a cheeky little subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. The original, it was good, like, don't get me wrong, it was good, but obviously a movie made in 1989, the technology back then obviously isn't as advanced as it is now. So, what? Oh, back in, did I, did I say 89? Ah, uh, well, the technology back in 1989. Um, All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down your thoughts down below. I'd like to hear from you. That's all from me. Don't forget to subscribe.